All right, this is gonna be an unboxing and setup of the new Apple iMac Retina 5K. We're gonna do a little bit of comparison on the screens and see what we can see difference-wise here. I kind of bummed a little bit to find out that we couldn't use this with Thunderbolt target display mode, but it appears so far that the boxing is identical to previous iMacs, although it is nice that Apple ships them with these foam padded sidings. There it is. Simply iMac. Of course, I didn't have to cut it. There was a rip strip here. I probably could have used. But you know what? Alright, so. First thing out of the box. Keyboard and mouse. Very much like every keyboard and mouse before it. Nothing changed there. We're not expecting a lot of change from what we've seen in the teardowns, these are virtually identical to previous IMAX. In fact, we actually found that on some of the heat bench tests, it actually performs more poorly than uh, its predecessor, which I am okay with because Apple's providing a display that has higher resolution than current 4K displays. It's providing the entire computer for about $500 less than those current 4K displays are going for, so I don't have a, have a huge problem with the fact that, yeah, the hardware might even be a little less comparable. If they had to cut hardware a little bit to give us this display, I'm okay with that. Typical power cord looks like it hasn't changed. That's a good sign. So this is going to take some skill here. See if I can manage to set this all down. Off to the styrofoam. And set her down. Alright. There's our famous Apple logo on the tear-off sticker. And there it is. And it looks just like every iMac before. No big surprises here today. The big thing is going to be powering up. That's the part that I'm really excited about. Turn it on, see what it has to offer in regards to quality of resolution. There it is. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm going to. Clever spinning around of this iMac. See if I can't get to a point here where we can see some of the screen. Let's plug it in and turn it on. To cover up absolutely everything. The plastic. I'm not sure what the purpose of that having plastic on it is. Hmm. 
Nice snug fit there. Power her on. Of course, first Mac to ship without the gray boot screen. That's forever dead to Apple. Now that we have Yosemite booting with the black boot screen, that is what we'll see. See if I can't power on this mouse and keyboard here, just to get it set up. And oh my word though, that display is absolutely gorgeous. Just looking at the edge here of this, see if I can even get it to focus. Of course, video has never been a big fan of displays, but I can get this nice and keyboard powered on so I can get to the actual pictures. Turn the keyboard on. Got it. Can do. Welcome. Let me see if I can speed through this here and get to the part where we can actually log into the display. Everybody's seen the Mac screen. Okay. Now I'm not sure how clear the uh, iPhone display will be, or the iPhone video will be here, but. Let me see if I can get it to focus in on some of this. We've all seen the Retina, K, Retina uh, MacBook Pro displays. Just look at that resolution. That is truly beautiful. Apple's uprezzed everything about this iMac. This uh, Yosemite picture definitely a lot higher res than, it, than what ships on some of the other Macs. Let's see if I can get this to uh, zoom here. Everything is so gorgeous. Yeah, they didn't up-res all their images. It looks like they only up-resed a couple. That's not what I came here for. I came here to go to dock. Okay. That is so beautiful. Apple's truly done an amazing job with this display. Everything is so crystal clear. Only I had the image stabilization of the 6 Plus. So yeah, in a nutshell, that is what the uh, Retina 5K iMac looks like. Honestly, that is a lot of resolution. Let's see if we can pull up. I huh. don't know that we have any native 4K. But the best we can get, I think, for the purpose of this video, is some YouTube 4K.
let's click on this 4K. Life is either an incredible adventure or it's nothing at all. Here's one. Love the internet loading speed. Videos. I'll be honest, I'm impressed with the uh, the quality. And that's definitely not 4K. But YouTube will catch up when it does. It's a little clear. Just blown away. Of course, you can tell the difference in quality here. Maybe you can't. I can, just looking at it. Yeah, there we go. See how the crisp and clear the Safari is, but the YouTube logo is all blurry? This is what the MacBooks faced early on with a failure to adapt. I believe, though, that YouTube might be a 4K logo. I'm not sure. I believe YouTube, because a lot of their other stuff has updated. It just might not be good enough for the 5K display. Yeah, blown away. So in that, in a nutshell, that is the uh, Apple iMac 5K. Thanks for watching.